A little boy flying his kite lost his hand to a landmine explosion. There are more than 300,000 victims of landmines. 20% of them are children. 10 News reporter Natasha Zuvez has the local effort to help give a hand to those who need it most. If they need a hand, that's what we're here to do. An incredible sight as landmine victims who lost their hands right for the first time since the accident. This little boy, Shiv Kumar, injured while flying his kite, spells the word love. Some of these hands were built right here in PB. Excited is definitely the right word for it. 30 employees at tech company The Control Group took a break and churned out these prosthetics. For the most part, we're sitting there in a very virtual environment. This is something that is actually tangible. We can hand it over to someone. Our hands have, have worked to build this. Uh, there's a little bit of magic to that. It's all through the Give a Hand project. Each hand takes a couple of hours to construct, but it's built to last for decades. You can see employees have one hand in a special blue mitt, so they can see what it's like for the amputees. It's surprisingly difficult. Just having that restrained, uh, it's not as easy. 30 pieces of metal and plastic will turn into this, and we can show you the design of this hand is simple. In order to grasp, you press in. In order to release, you press down. The design is so effective, one of these sits in the Smithsonian. There's a landmine going off every 20 minutes around the world somewhere. Todd Demarest trains groups to build these hands. Thousands have been given out so far in areas like Colombia and Afghanistan. Children or adults are out there taking care of their herds or their livestock, and a bomb goes off, and then there's a need again. And that's the need that we're taking care of. In the developing world, prosthetics often cost between five and ten thousand dollars. The control group built about fifteen hands today. Oh, that's great. That means fifteen lives changed at no cost to the victims. We have so many people that are in the armed forces, um, so many of our loved ones that you know go to these places, you know, af like Afghanistan and Iraq. This is just a great opportunity to give back. Natasha Zuvest, 10 News. Wonderful. If you would like to learn more about helping hands or make a contribution, go to our website, 10news.com, and click on the red television button.